Uh, day 112, I'm in Cape Trib, um, setting off to head to the Lion's Den. It's a pub that's in Helen's Vale. Uh, it's 66 kilometers at 7.30 in the morning and uh, high tide is at 9.30. I've got a 30 kilometer run to get to the Bloomfield River. It's a tidal river. A combination of rain and high tide makes it uh, impassable. And that's exactly what I got. It is raining. And look, moderately I'd call it, but oh, I'm not happy at all. Oh, I don't know what to do. It's one of those, the attitude in me that's just going, go anyway, just go, get there, find it out, wait it out. You know, look, I may have to wait till three o'clock for it to be low tide and then it might be crossable, but I think I need to make a phone call. There's no reception here, but I need to make a phone call, so I'm going to talk to... Yeah, yeah, anyway, I'm going to find a Telstra box. <laughs> Hopefully there's one around. All right, catch them all. Well, actually, I'll, I'll let you know what happens later on. I found a friend for a million dollar question, and the answer I got was pretty much should be right. Uh, he said something about it being new moon, tides in the middle of the day, not being as high as tides in the middle of the night, and uh, that it it wouldn't be too bad. At worst, I'd just have to find a shady tree and wait it out for a little while, or a car might be able to help me across, so I'm just going to set off, because that's what I'm keen to do anyway. All right, catch up. This is uh, not the Bloomfield River yet. It's uh, apparently called Emogen Creek. Yes, it does have crocodiles in it. I think they all do potentially, hence the sign. But given the depth, I'm not worried. It's the first of many and pretty much uh, it involves getting my shoes wet because I could not be bothered to take them off. And they're actually, actually sorry, already soaked already. Uh, I'm just sweating so much. Uh, that I'm just completely drenched from my own sweat, like I'm going through four liters in um, three hours, and yeah, and that's all just coming straight out plus more. So, I don't know, this is the creek. Nice, beautiful. This terrain is just, ah, it's the best place to come running through. Um, but yeah, anyway, I uh, better keep moving. Oh, and just a little add on about the terrain. It is killer. It is awesome. Height probably doesn't show up, or gradient doesn't show up in a camera shot, but we're talking about oh, easily 15 to 20 percent. Yeah, 20 percent up these hills with a 10 kilo backpack on. There's a long way to try and go in this stuff. 66 k's. But anyway, uh, I'll just keep running. <laughs> See at the end of it. Yeah, I just caught the end of that. Let's see if I can still see him. No. I don't know about you. Um, I'm assuming that's a dingo. Huh. First sighting of one of those. I can tick that off the list. And at the moment, I am walking up a hill. And it, look, it just once again, it doesn't show it. But that would be the camera at... Um, level, like vertical. So looking down this hill is like, I would not be surprised if it was 30%. And hills this steep, it's more efficient to walk up them. You actually go at the same speed as running um, by walking. It's, it's more efficient because it engages different muscle groups. So I'm going on just as fast as I would be if I was sprinting. Very small feet, but let's see if I can. Uh, See this dingo again and very much hope that it doesn't have any mates around. But I've got my trusty knife there. <laughs> Defend myself if I need to. Not that that's going to do much. Anyway, I think that knife's really only good for cutting up fruit. <laughs> right, catch ya. Righto, I'm at the Bloomfield. Uh, this is what you call rain. But, so you can understand my concern. Uh, but it's now 12 o'clock. It actually took me an hour and a half longer than I thought. That means I've been running for four and a half hours to only do about 30k. That terrain I just went through was was some serious stuff. That policeman wasn't wrong. It was uh, serious stuff. But hey, 
I'm cool with that. That's um, just my sort of challenge. I like that, so that's fine. And look, I'm happy with this because oh, I'll be careful, but I've seen some cars cross it, so um, not to worry. Uh, and I'm very glad for a sign up there that points to Cooktown because I was wondering where I was for a while there. All right, anyway, I'll catch you uh, later or tomorrow. Oh, I'm not going to lie. That's just giving me a serious appreciation for flood water. I've obviously just in the middle only. And just coming through that stuff, it's only like knee height or even less. And I was feeling so close to being like whipped out from underneath my feet. I was just kind of sliding my feet along the ground. Ha! Right on. enough. Alright, catch them up.